Hi again, uh, I'd like to continue our discussion of React and Redux. And, you know, in the last video, we, uh, you know, we made, actually I put it in Chrome here, we made a simple counter, right? So it's got a button here we can click it, it increases the count. We got a button here that decreases the count. And what I'd like to do is, is this is really simple, but I'd like to expand on it, right? And then that we can, as we expand on it, we can see like how, how to work with Redux, like, you know, like Redux kind of organizes our code in a certain way that makes it easy to reason about and easy to work with, right? And it, it, it keeps things organized as the code isn't spread out all over the place. I mean, it's kind of spread out, but it's in very, like, grouped in, in very specific ways, right? And what I'd like to do is also touch on some other factors in, 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 in React and how you work with the reducer, right? So um, what I'd like to do is take the idea here, but imagine that we had multiple counters, right? So the changes I'm going to make here are going to break my program for now, and then we'll we'll fix it, right? So what I want to do is is when you you know you know if I had multiple counters, instead of just having a a number for state, we would have an array, okay? So I'm going to change this thing here. I'm going to go to my reducer here, and I'm going to make three counters that all start at a count of zero, okay? So this is kind of a problem because when I increment the count, I need to say what counter I'm incrementing, right? Okay, so let's go over to um, actions for a moment, right? Because when I get the action here, the action's going to have to say which counter. It'll have to include an ID or an index to tell me like which counter, like counter zero or counter one or counter two, like which one should we be incrementing, okay? So let's go back up to the action here. And when you increment your counter, um, what we're going to do is, is when you call this action creator, you'll pass in the index of the counter that you want to increment. And the same for decrement, right? So these guys will take in the index. And what these two functions are going to do, or these two action creators are going to do, is they're going to pass the index along. And we could just put index here like this, and that would be enough. But it's kind of, you know... Um, common practice to use this this term payload right and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make index the payload okay so in this syntax here it's kind of like I said index is you know the value from the variable index right but this is like the shortcut okay and I'll do the same thing for the decrement count so I'll make a payload it payload is always an object with some properties and um, I'll include index here as the property Okay, so now when you click on a counter, so there's going to be more work to do, right? But, uh, but when you click on a counter, the action here describes exactly what's going to happen. You're going to increment the counter, and you're going to increment this counter. And if you decrement a counter, you're going to decrement this counter, right? At, or the counter at this index, right? So take a moment to appreciate this, because like in a lot of programs, this might be spread out all over the place or mixed in with other code here in in redux world um, you know the actions and the changes that you make to the store are described in your action creator and that's the only thing that happens here okay so it's very easy for me to reason about this okay next so now we can go back to the reducer here so I'm at, at, com at counter reducer and I know now that the action is going to come in here and it's going to have a type of increment and a type of decrement and it's also going to have a payload with an index on it. So I, I'm not just going to add one to state here, I'm going to add one to state at a particular index. Now the one thing we can't do is we can't modify state. So this would be kind of a no-no, like we don't want to return state um, what is it? Action dot payload dot index, you know, plus equals one. Okay, so that's kind of bad practice in Redux. What we want to do is create a new state, right? So we want to create new state, and then um, and then return that new state. Okay, and you can do this a lot of ways. There's a lot of different ways to to modify state or modify arrays and make sure you're returning a copy of an array. Um, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to use map 
because map always returns a new array. So I'm going to say let's map, and we can use map to transform, um, you know, values in an array, right? So I'm going to use map, and I'm going to take in the uh, the value, right? And the index, and um, I'm going to return, I'm going to say like, hey, you know, if the um, the value or if the index, let's do, a, what is it, action dot payload dot index, if this equals, you know, I, then I want to return the uh, value plus equals one. So I'm incrementing the value at this index. Otherwise, we're just going to return the value. Okay, so now I've created a new array. I modified one of the values, maybe. You know, if this index is not correct, then it'll just return the same values, right? Okay, but if, if this matches one of, the, one of the indices right here, then it'll modify that value and return the new value, right? And then we'll return a brand new array. So here we're returning new state. Okay, that's like an important feature in, in Redux, right? And we can do the same thing down here to um, at, um, at decrement, right? So I'll just paste that and make this minus one, okay? So there we go. Oh, I got some error. Oh yeah, we're going to have errors because we're using arrays now instead of numbers, but that's okay. And then here we're going to return new state, okay? So, uh, so there we modified the the reducer okay and so now we kind of have a problem we got to say like okay how are our counters going to work okay so right now if i look at the counter here um the the count that we get used to be a number but now it's an array right i'm actually going to go into combine reducers too and change this so you know before i had a single number here and this counter reducer returned a single number but now it's returning an array so i'm going to say um I'm going to call that counters, right? So this is going to return counters, right? And then I'm going to go into um, my component here, and this is going to get counters, right? So remember, like, I'm getting state, and the keys on here are set in combined reducers, right? So the key is going to be this. And if I had other keys, I might have them here, right? Okay, but this is going to be this one, and I'm going to, oops, let me go back to counter again, and I'm in counter here, and I'm going to get the counters, and maybe I'll set this key to counters like that, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to generate a, a bunch of counters, right? And if you remember, our increment count and decrement count now require the ID number for the component. Okay, so we have to have that ID there, okay? So let's add that in, right? Um, so my counter right here um, will need, I should change the name to S. I'm gonna just make it counters now because it's multiple counters, right? So that means down at the bottom here, I'll have to change this guy to, to counters also. And, uh, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have to render a, a group of counters with the, the count and the two buttons, right? So we'll render an array of these guys. So why don't we add a function here, call it get, oh, let's call it render counters, right? And we can make another component for this. We could refactor, but, but what we'll do here is we'll just map the array of counters into something that looks like this, okay? So uh, why don't we do this? And remember, we're getting the counters and we're mapping them to props. So, you know, this is going to be the variable here. So it'll be this.props.counters, right, up here. So we can say, um, you know, like we did before, it used to be count, right? But it's going to be counters now. So so why don't we do this? Let's return um, this.props.counters. That should be our array of counters. And let's map them. So I'm going to map them, and uh, this should be the value that we get. Well, this should be one of the values in the array. And what I want to do here is return 
some uh, some you know uh, JSX that'll look like this. Maybe I'll just copy all this out of here, right? Paste it up here. So I want to return one of these, and I'll need to know what the index is. So I think I'll add after value here. I'll add comma i, right? And this will be the index of the current count. And uh, and now in here I want to get the value. So I'm going to map h1 to uh, to the value that we got from the array of counters, right? And and then over here on the button we'll need to pass in the variable i because that's the the index of the count. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got map this dot props dot counters. We're going to map them. We're going to get the value of each count. We're going to get the index of each count, and then we're going to display the value. And then when you click a button, we're going to call this dot props increment, and we're going to pass in the index of the particular counter, you know, or or decrement, and we'll pass in the index. Okay. Um, oh yeah, so down here in render, we'll want to uh, get rid of all this stuff, and we'll want to say this dot get, or no, render counters, okay, and hopefully that'll return our counters to us. Oh, I got an, uh, I got an error. Let's check it, right? What does it say here? Oh, I got return twice in my action creator, right? Or no, that's in the, the reducer, right? You guys probably saw me do that and uh, fixed it already. Where, where do I got re return, return on line 15? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it looks totally wrong. Okay, there we go, right? Oh, great. So now I got three counters, and I can increase this one and decrease or increase that one or decrease this one, right? And, and our system is working, right? And if we wanted to add another counter... We could do that in a couple ways, right? Um, we could, um, you know, add another one to our default state here. So maybe this one starts at 99. I'll save this. And this counter started at 99. There's four counters, right? The other thing we could do is we could make an action to add a new counter to the array, right? And so that could be an action here. And we would do that by setting up an action and then making an action creator for it. Okay, but anyway, so that was kind of a long video. We did some stuff there. You guys can review that. Um, I'm going to go over a couple more things with with the videos here, and we'll talk more about how how Redux works, and we'll talk about some more ideas with it in the in the upcoming videos. Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching.